How's it going guys? So a new add-on just hit Lunar Market and it is a huge time saver and it gives you access to over a thousand free assets that are getting updated all the time. So here we go. Let's talk about it. So it is the Polyhaven Asset Browser add-on. I don't think that's the proper title, but that's what it is. Uh, if you know what Polyhaven is, I've used it tons of times. I think since I started using the channel, it used to be called HDRI Haven. Now it's called Polyhaven. Um, and it just has hundreds and hundreds of HDRIs, now has tons of textures and models. And this add-on, now that you get access to them within Blender, you don't need to go to the website every time you need a new HDRI, all that stuff. It does all the saving, file management, all that for you within the, uh, the add-on. So let's check it out and see how it works. So I'm just gonna pull this up here. Now you install it from the zip file. I will say there's not a lot of documentation on the add-on on how to install, um, but there is some FAQ that does kind of help you out. So if you've installed add-ons before, you'll probably be fine, uh, but it's not too crazy. I, I figured it out and I'm not the, I'm not the brightest one. <laughs> All right, let's go to the asset browser and let's go here to Polyhaven. So, it gives you access to, I believe, most of the catalog on Polyhaven. I don't know if it's all of them. I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure it's all of them. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring it to regular sized. So the one I'm mostly going to use is the HDRIs. So if you click on HDRIs here, it gives you indoor, outdoor. And say, okay, I want an indoor HDRI. So I'll hit this down here. Then you have artificial light, natural light, and studio. Let's go with natural light. We'll do high contrast because I think those look the best. You can do low contrast, medium contrast, or you can just look at all of them at once. This is just cool to me. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and get a plane, make it nice and big. All right, and then we're gonna use this cube as well because we're gonna go touch some of the textures as well within this. All right, so let's just go ahead and throw this HDRI into the scene. So if you like one, say I like this one, I'm gonna throw it into the scene and then we're gonna go here to the cycles view and it is in the scene. Now notice you got kind of some pixelation. I believe they did that one because all of these assets are getting saved onto your computer. So if your computer doesn't have a lot of space, I would recommend using an external hard drive for the file path where these are saved. But also if, if you're downloading like a hundred, um, if you're downloading like a hundred HDRIs, you don't want them to be 8K. And when I'm using HDRIs, I almost never see the HDRI. So for me, that is not a pain point. Um, but if you really like an HDRI, you can go ahead and grab it off the website at like 16K because they, they get that big on the website. Um, but here is the lighting and say, hey, I don't want those shadows. Let's try this one. Cool. This is a different one. Nah, I don't like that one. Let's do this one. I don't know, maybe let's do this one. You can just plug and play. And this, for me, this is the best part about the add-on is you can just simply plug and play, try one, try another, try another. And it is such a massive time saver. Uh, I'm gonna go to nature and we're gonna get this one here. Really nice. Um, that's the HDRIs, very simple. Um, now, it's $30. That may be an issue for a lot of people. I understand that. This is one of those add-ons that's gonna save you a lot of time. If you're using Polyhaven a lot, my opinion is the $30 is worth it for the amount of time you're gonna save having to go back and back and forth, back and forth. Also, this is a huge workflow improver. The fact that you can plug, play, do this one, do that one, do this one, and all the assets are free. All you're paying for is access to the add-on, and the add-on saves you time. I see it worth the money, but that's just my situation. Everyone's situation is different. Um, so I do want to kind of acknowledge that, but in my opinion, a thousand percent worth it. I'm going to be using this a lot. I'm mostly going to be just using the HDRIs. I, most of the materials I use are uh, procedural um, and models. I don't use a whole lot of asset models, but the HDRIs is a game changer for me. The fact that I can plug and play with lighting, I don't understand like going back to the website, going back to the website is annoying. And that is something that I get annoyed by, but this add-on solves that. I think it's awesome. Let's go to models and say, let's do props. What's props gonna give me? Cool. We have all of these different props that we can use and um, we even have nature. So let's throw in like, let's throw in this guy. He's just a weird ball. And then we'll scale it up. There we go. Very high quality assets here. So maybe we can delete that one. Maybe we can throw in this one here. This one was cool. I remember looking at this one originally being very impressed. This is an asset 
you just throw into the scene. And then maybe we can get this this food here. Throw that into the scene. High quality. There is no kill of quality here. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and throw a material onto this thing too. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a cube projection. And then let's go ahead and subdivide it as well. Okay, so this is our ball. And let's go ahead and throw a material on it. So these are all your models. Let's go ahead and go through them. Rotten plants. You can go to food. Um, so that's nature. Again, you can go to appliances, electronics, tools. And then industrial is super cool too. You have all these. There's not a lot of materials. I mean, sorry. There's not a lot of models yet. Now, you can go ahead and join the Discord server and they will update you when everything's happening. They said they are updating um, textures, HDRs, whatever, daily, if not weekly. So let's hope they hold to that because that would be very impressive. There's already a lot here. If you, I think if they want this to be like a kind of all-in-one, definitely need to have more models. But there's already a good amount of models here now. And I understand they can't do everything at once. Um, so let's go here to the textures. And there's quite a lot of textures here. I'm going to go to wood. Actually, no, I like the bricks. So let's go ahead and throw this material right on there. Boom. You now have a brick material. And then say, let's go down here and use this one instead. They just plug and play at ease. And there you go. Now you have textures, HDRIs, all of that. And say, hey, you know, I don't want to see this HDRI because it's weird. Well, you can just go here to your world settings and go to ray visibility and turn it off the camera. Now it's gone. Now you're just getting lighting. So that's pretty much it. Again, if you want to join the Discord server, you can. You get updates. The community seems really cool there. Uh, really professional people running Polyhaven, and I'm glad they're showing a lot of love here to the Blender community, making this add-on. Um, but with that being said, that's the end of my review. I'd give this like a 9 out of 10, honestly, because I love this. I'm going to be using it. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.